Hi, we're here in Dearborn, Michigan, and we're going to be checking out the tech shop and some of their rapid prototyping technology. So, what can you do here? Uh, this is a facility, it's, um, think of it like the gym for people that like to make stuff. So, there is enough capability uh, in equipment and um, uh, resources in terms of uh, talented staff, uh, artists, engineers, fabricators, all sorts, to enable a person to make the stuff of their dreams. You know, the, the creative ideas that have been rolling around in their head, um, that they haven't necessarily had access to the equipment, they don't run in the circles where they would um, you know, have a friend who could get them into a shop, or uh, they've never had a chance to use the things and they don't necessarily feel confident that they could do it, and they really can. So this place is set up to be a really empowering, really fun, inspiring place um, to help you create or make just about anything you can think of in one way or the other and then demonstrate that to the world and then, and then potentially, if, if that's your objective as well, to then you know, go into business for yourself or uh, launch something that changes the world. Now, this isn't just a couple of uh, voltmeters or drill presses. You got some heavy duty equipment here. Yeah, there's, um, I mean, there's all the common stuff, all the traditional things you could think of, but we do have a number of really uh, high-powered machines that we teach people to use and we cut them loose on it. So, um, you know, there's CNC mills in the machine shop. There's uh, uh, two different sizes of CNC gantry router in the wood shop. Um, and, uh, you know, heavy-duty industrial equipment across the board, but perhaps the, the most uh, impressive tool that we've got in the set is the um, CNC water jet that we have in the back of the shop. It's got a 5 by 10 foot bed. Um, it'll cut any design, any two-dimensional design, in lots of materials, but including up to four or five inches of plate steel if you want to. And like you said, you don't have to necessarily know how all this stuff works to be starting. You can learn how to use this. Right, yeah, we put a lot of attention into developing a curriculum that works for you know, the 30-year tool and die maker who needs access to equipment that they don't have uh, access to anymore. Uh, but it also speaks to and it empowers somebody who walks in the door who has never even seen a milling machine in their life. And within a few hours, we can get them making chips and then uh, set them up so they've got a, a road uh, a road map laid before them um, and assistance all along the way to actually start making useful parts and you know interesting inventions and, and building their dreams on this stuff. Well, Tech Shop isn't everywhere yet, but it's not just here in Detroit. Right. It started in Menlo Park, California, near Stanford. Um, and then opened in downtown San Francisco and downtown San Jose. Uh, we're also in Raleigh, uh, North Carolina, and in Detroit. And um, coming up uh, will be uh, probably Brooklyn, New York, uh, Pittsburgh, and DC. So if somebody wants to start using Tech Shop, uh, how do they go about that? Uh, it's really straightforward. It's, um, it's, it's a lot like going to a gym. So you'll have a flat rate monthly membership. Uh, it works out to around 100 bucks a month. Um, and then you, um, that gets you access to the shop 9 a.m. to midnight every day of the week. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's wrapped into that, including um, access to uh, you know, $40,000 suite of uh, design software um, through our partnership with Autodesk. Uh, you can even check out um, a six-month license to uh, Inventor, their flagship 3D modeling program, and install it on your own computer at home. Um, uh, specific major machine tools uh, are a one-time safety and basic usage class. Typically runs between two and a half and three and a half hours, and um, varies in price depending on the topic between 50 and about $100. Well, if I have uh, some background, but I want to get something done quickly, is there some way I could get somebody to help me? Yeah, absolutely. We've got a staff of um, uh, technical folks uh, in the shop that we call Dream Consultants. Um, and that's because they're, they're, they're there to kind of coach you through uh, the steps that you need uh, to achieve the project or to achieve the design or the goal that you have uh, in mind. And that could take the form of um, uh, you know, uh, class sessions scheduled on your time. That could be side-by-side uh, -side build assistance, uh, uh, you and your project and one of our dream consultants. Um, we've got experts on the staff that cover the whole range from you know, uh, experts with industrial sewing and textiles, uh, laser cutting and casting, um, you know, fabricators, welders, um, uh, people who understand machinery and uh, precision components, uh, electronics, robots, you know, all sorts of stuff. So it's great for prototyping if you have a, a new idea. You have a number of great success stories as well. Yeah, there's, there's people who uh, achieve successes across the board. So a lot of folks come in, um, you know, have hobby projects that are just like personally enabling. They, they get to use this equipment that they would never be able to afford on their own to, uh, to, to just to make themselves happy. And there are people that come in very deliberately to start a new business or to uh, invent a new piece of technology. Um, I mean, one fantastic success story uh, that we've experienced, and there's been a number, um, there's a guy named uh, Patrick Buckley who got started in the shop in Menlo Park, the original one, uh, making uh, his version of an iPad case. But rather than you know injection molded plastic or you know the kind of you know, rubber thing that you commonly see, he had this uh, vision of creating a really nice um, case uh, from re renewable materials. In this case, it's a, a plywood made from bamboo called plyboo. So it's got this lovely wooden frame that's all CNC cut on a wood router. 
um, and he combines that with traditional bookbinding techniques. Um, and that was something he, he came into the shop and um, he asked a question, you know, what, what classes do I need to take to be able to make a iPad case? And it was, you know, three, right? He needed, he needed some design software, he needed a CNC wood router and a, and a couple of, you know, hand tools and things like that. Um, so uh, about a month into that project, he uh, was able to put together his iPad case, uh, attracted enough attention, you know, was selling them on the internet uh, for 50 bucks a pop. And uh, uh, within a month, he had about a million dollars in orders. And he's, he's gone on from there. He's, you know, graduated into... Uh, owning and operating his own company as his own machines, his own employees. Um, and that's just one example. There's been all sorts of things, you know, bigger and, and smaller, you know, all sorts of stuff. Excellent. Well, it's a definitely a fun place to come and check things out. You should do so soon. Thanks. Thanks a bunch.